I can't quit this job because this is what everybody else wants to do. And if I quit this job, what am I going to do? And I was going to a speech coach at the time and I was telling her, you know, I really don't want to do this. What I really want to do is act. And she says, my dear, you don't want to act because if you wanted to act, you'd be doing it. What you want to be, my dear, is a star. Because um, if you wanted to act, you'd be waiting tables in New York. You'd be, and I thought, now why am I going to wait tables if I'm already working in TV? So I said, well, what I think is going to happen is I will be discovered because I want it so badly, somebody's going to have to discover me. And she said, you just dream. You dream, you're a dreamer. So when it happened, I called her up. I said, you will not believe this. I got discovered. And it really was a discovery. It's like one of those Lana Turner stories, only um, it wasn't a drugstore. He was uh, in his hotel room, saw me on TV. It was unbelievable. So the interesting thing about that is that I truly believe that thoughts are the greatest vehicle to change power and success in the world. Everything begins with thoughts. I mean, the chairs that we're sitting in, the room that we're in, all started because somebody thought it. So I thought up the color purple for myself. I know this is gonna sound strange to you. I read the book. I, I got so many copies of that book. I passed the book around to everybody I knew. If I was on the bus, I'd pass it out to people. And when I heard that there was gonna be a movie, I started, I started talking it up for myself. I didn't know Quincy Jones or Steven Spielberg or how on earth I would get in this movie. I'd never acted in my life, but I, I felt it so intensely that I had to be a part of that movie. I just, I, I really do believe I created it for myself. I wanted it more than anything in the world and would have done anything to do it, anything to do it.